Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and happy Time Spiral Remastered launch day. Now, Time Spiral was a set full of nostalgia and references. And so when we were working on the bonus sheet of old card frame cards for Time Spiral Remastered, there were a few cards that, well, we couldn't help but include. Now, these are references that you would probably never notice otherwise, but have a special place in my heart. And I'm gonna let you in on them today. All right, Easter egg number one. All the way back on the original Time Spiral bonus sheet, there was the official mascot of Tolarian Community College, Lord of Atlantis. Well, when we were making the Time Spiral Remastered bonus sheet, we thought a very fun reference on the bonus sheet itself could be Master of the Pearl Trident, a card that is essentially the same as Lord of Atlantis, but had never been in an old frame before. Easter egg number two. An idea that really made me giggle was the idea of putting cards on the bonus sheet from Cons of Tarkir, because the events of Fate Reforged essentially erased Cons of Tarkir from existence. And what better place for a alternate present time mixed up thing to show up than right here in Time Spiral. Now you get this a little bit with Alesha and Tassiger, who were both from Fate Reforged and ended up with very different fates. But the card that really does it for me is Teamer Ascendancy. Easter egg number three. On the original Time Spiral bonus sheet, there was desert, which was, well, of course, a desert. Well, this time around on the Time Spiral Remastered bonus sheet, we included Ramunap Ruins, which is both a desert as a callback to desert and plays really well with your old deserts too. Easter egg number four. All the way back in Odyssey, Magic's first real graveyard block, we tried out something new. In the top left-hand corner of cards, which interacted with the graveyard in some way, we had a little tombstone. The idea here is that it would make it easier for both you and your opponent to know what cards and graveyards were relevant. And so cards like flashback spells and the incarnations got the tombstone symbol. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers might notice this returns in Time Spiral Remastered, and we had a lot of fun with it. It shows up not only on flashback cards, that was obvious, like Lingering Souls, but also on cards like Stinkweed Imp, and prized amalgam that interact from the graveyard too. Easter egg number five. On the original Time Spiral bonus sheet, there was the dragon himself, Nicol Bolas, the book reading one. Now Nicol Bolas comes from a cycle of elder dragons from the legend set, and those dragons were done again in M19. So we thought it'd be a fun callback to take one of the M19 updated elder dragons and put it in the old frame for this set as a call to Nicol Bolas. And that is how Arcades the Strategist ended up in the set. And finally, Easter egg number six. And this one is kind of sneakily outside of the set. The promo Lotus Bloom with Time Spiral Remastered has art you might not have seen before. And that's because it's from the pre-release version of Lotus Bloom that came in original Time Spiral. Back then, everyone got the same pre-release card and it had alternate artwork. So when we were trying to pick what is essentially an analog to a pre-release card for this set, we thought it'd be fun to look back at that old Lotus Bloom and use that again. But of course, put it in the old frame. I hope you learned something new. And if you definitely wanna learn something new, come back on Monday when I start giving out some hints for Strix Haven Commander. You will not wanna miss it. I'll talk with you again then. And in the meantime, may you have a lot of fun finding all kinds of throwbacks. You got this. Whoa. That is hot. That is so good.